What's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to another episode of OptiCraft. Today, we're going to be doing some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to be working on a really cool auto crafting system for the gold farm. It's super fast. And another auto crafting system for the slime farm. And we're going to be doing some piglin wrangling. So let's get into it. Um, I haven't been uploading recently because I flew out to college and I had to bring my desktop with me. Uh, and there were some problems in transporting that and finding the necessary equipment to fix it. Uh, but now it's all fine, probably, uh, until the next crash, of course. So, hopefully I'll be uploading more videos more frequently now. You know, who would have guessed that shipping your desktop in a bag across the country could have messed up the GPU? That's just crazy to me. Um, anyway, I think we should get into a little time lapse of me building up the new gold farm. Well, it's right behind me. I'm not going to show you all of it. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. So I went into Spectator so I could fully show you what's going on here. Uh, right now, if you check the tab screen, we're operating at double mob cap, kind of. So here's all the piglins falling down. Uh, and then there's hoppers that shoot into these lines of droppers here. And there's two lines of droppers per side. So we're going at four times super fast dropper speed. This is the fastest droppers can actually be powered. Uh, everything gets shot up here and into this little container here, which is just an absolute clusterfuck of items being shot into it. Uh, and then they're pushed around with slime blocks and they go over these filters and then they go into the auto crafting system I showed maybe I showed it in the last episode I don't know it's in my redstone 101 video um, but then the nuggets or the gold ingots are crafted those move over and they get put into this crafter which is you know crafting the blocks wow the suspense is killing me <laughs> it's not I mean it's relatively fast let's be honest okay so this is finished crafting and then that gets pushed in the shulker and right here quite a bit of gold it's only been running for like three hours i think um so then we have an automatic shulker loader and the output will come over here so let me just zoom out and sort of show you this thing in action i think it's pretty cool i'm i'm relatively happy with how this turned out but yeah this is the new farm this will be super helpful for the piglin farm wither cake's going to be building maybe in this episode probably in the next episode um, but right now I think we should go, let me go back into survival here. We got to go wrangle some piglins. So that's going to be a bit of a disaster. Um, so if you ever were curious on how to not wrangle piglins, uh, this would be the way to do it. Uh, so essentially what we did is we made this little platform here. Uh, and then we'd fly all the way up here until things would spawn on the platform as they're not doing right now. Uh, and then we'd fly a little higher come back down this is gonna be chaotic to watch for sure okay something usually okay yeah things spawn and then once the piglins spawn we fly down and I died a few times doing this you have your name tags you name them and then you lead them into the pit over here um, this doesn't work very well <laughs> but I think we have like 30 or so in there now which is just enough uh, let me show you a clip of how chaotic it was yeah I want to see them deposing too this is Hectic as hell. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get it three times already. Oh. Move back. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, one sec. All right, so let's check out the slime farm thing that I built, the auto crafter for the slime farm. So we come down through this really great and well designed passage here. Um, it's completely backed up because I didn't put enough chests down here, but we have the same tileable crafting design as before. And look at this. 
automatic slime blocks. It's so very convenient, uh, but this shit's completely backed up. But yeah, that's about it for this farm too. Kind of nice to put this together though. Well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Optocraft. This was a bit of a short one. I just wanted to get a video out, uh, but the bigger real ones will be coming back soon uh, and we'll be doing some cool projects. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.